our producer, Anthony, across the way, did uh, reveal something uh, during the course of the break right after my rant on Pablo Sandoval about bathroom etiquette. Oh, and, boy. And Anthony said that uh, basically was amazed that, that I do not bring the phone into the bathroom when, you know, I go number two, that he needs something to focus in on when he's going to the bathroom. Now, I ask you, Joey, uh, do you... Can you step away from the phone for five, six, seven minutes? I mean, maybe after a large Mexican meal, maybe it's 10, uh, maybe a big pasta meal the night before. Maybe it's a nice 12 minutes, whatever it might be. Do you bring the phone into the bathroom with you? Well, first of all, Moose, now you've hit on a subject I can really sink my teeth into. (laughs) Let me just start with that. I go on. I could do a whole show on this. I don't know if Eric Spitz, our program director, is listening, but if you need some fill... Uh, I do not bring the phone in, yes. but I must put an asterisk. An asterisk, okay. And the reason being that I guess I would say if I did do number two at work, right. I would not have the cell phone on me. But I say if because I refuse. You refuse. I refuse to do that sort of business here at the station. All right. Just won't allow it. I, I got it. What about if you're home? I will bring the phone in sometimes to entertain myself, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> kind of distract the mind. We are talking about going to the bathroom, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, Moose. Oh, it's so early right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you said it, you said to entertain yourself. I was just curious. Uh, but all right, so distract it, myself I, <laughs> so that the so that things can flow more freely. So you are not a, so you agree with Anthony that you you do at times bring the bathroom with you, the phone in with you when you go to the bathroom. Well, yeah, but just you know, so we're clear, it's not because I feel like oh, so important. I can't possibly, you know, go ten minutes or whatever and and risk missing some important call or message. It's more because I think if you kind of, you know, I, I'm 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 joking, but I'm I'm half serious as why well. I've always felt personally moose. Yes, as I let you into my. Yes. My world. Yeah. I think if you kind of, sometimes if you distract yourself when you're doing certain things in the bathroom, then things have a way of, you know, if you kind of can relax, you, you can relax your body you by a, letting your mind be distracted. If right. As Howard Stern would say, you have a full release. <laughs> you always want things to go <laughs> as smoothly as possible in there, Moose. Smoothly as possible. It's usually, now, it's. I'm sorry, it's usually either cell phone right. or one of the Sports Illustrated's that I steal from the station. <laughs> one or the other. Depends now, how long of, a, of an episode I'm planning. Anthony, how about you? You at all times. With the phone. Yeah. All times. All the, all the time now. now. Now I've gotten to a point where like, I have to have it with me. But again, as Joey Waller said, it's not because I'm afraid I'm going to miss a call or a message. It's just, it's a nice distraction. Right, you need to catch up on your reading, reading. Twitter, your followers. No, I get no social media. <laughs> you know, I'll play like Tetris for because I love playing Tetris in the bathroom. Oh, wow. That's my go-to. I love Tetris. Play on the so bathroom. So when you go to the men's room, nine times out of ten, you're playing Tetris. Good chance I'm playing Tetris. Do you turn the volume down, absolutely. or like if oh, someone steps up to the urinal, they hear the sound effects from you playing Tetris? No, no, no. no. I'm gonna make sure it's on silent. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Talk about distraction in the next stall. What's going on over there? Well, I'll tell you this. You mentioned the idea of never using the men's room at work. And well, I, not not for number two. Not for, right. And I, I, you know, for years, for years, I used to do that because I had a, I had a bad experience when I was at the Nanuet Mall growing up. Oh, God. Where. Bad experience. Yeah, bad experience at the Nanuet Mall where basically... It was, I had no other choice. Like, I had to go. Like, it was one of those things where it was, like, basically, you know, either that or get me a get me some diapers because I, I needed to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so, basically, I went to the bathroom, and there, of course, um, I'm, I'm sitting in the stall, right, going to the bathroom, and a couple of eight- or nine-year-olds walk in, right, and they go, man, it stinks in here. <laughs> and so then they proceed to... Look underneath the stall no. and look through the stall and then throw paper towel over it as I'm trying to go to the bathroom. Really? Yes. I swear to you. And of course, you're in and no let, position. I'm in no position at that yourself. point to do anything. Right. So after I was scarred by that, 
I did not use a public restroom for years. Traumatized. Yes. In the stall as a child. In the stall as a child. Right. We have some sad music we can play (laughs) on the moose? (laughs) One of the many reasons. Yeah. And we don't have time to list them all here in this particular form. That I will not do that. Yes. At work. Is I need silence. And the sound of other people coming in and out of the bathroom while I'm trying to do that just drives me crazy. Including... One of my other pet peeves, Moose, which is I know from my own sort of unofficial, unscientific survey over the many years of using public men's rooms <laughs> that the vast majority of guys that do number one in the bathroom right. do not use their do not wash their hands. But yet Which is gross. Right. But yet guys have this move where they try to be slick. If a guy here here's the deal. Most guys that uh, do number one, right? I'm trying to think of something, a substitute for number one, and I can't think of one, so we'll go with that. Most guys that do that in the bathroom do not wash their hands unless they see feet under a stall, in which case they feel they have to fake it, and then they will wash their hands, in which case they do like a two-minute wash with soap and eight million paper towels. And meanwhile, if I'm in the stall trying to do the other thing, I'm thinking, are you taking a bath out there? (laughs) Enough. Get out. So over your years of uh, observance, this is what you came to realize. Yes. Why do you – see, I think that's – first off, I've – I've witnessed guys not do that, and I asked them the rationale why, and they're like, well, it's, you know. I didn't, it's not dirty. Yeah, it's not right. So, <laughs> but that's gross. I mean, yeah. I wash my hands regardless. I do it regardless, even at home, even if I'm alone. Right, I, because honestly, if then if I eat an apple, then <laughs> you've got an issue if you're eating See? like. now I'm, you're thinking of Right, animals. that's my point. Everything I touch it's moving a, forward is the then next tainted. Act. Exactly. That is, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's the problem I have. That's the issue you have there, which I find it to be. Once you enter a public restroom, regardless of what happens after that, a, a washing of the hands has to transpire once you leave that bathroom. Absolutely. That should and be. And I would even go further as saying you need to take a paper towel to hold the handle to open the door and then throw the paper towel away because, as you mentioned, you know, eight, nine guys out of ten aren't aren't washing their hands after relieving themselves. Here's my move when I do number one in the station bathroom or any public bathroom. Right. But here at the station, wash the hands, dry the hands with the paper towel, grab another good cluster of paper towel, use it to pull open the handle of the door so I don't have to make direct contact, and then as I'm out in the hallway, walking over to open up the electric door that you need the ID for to get back into the actual station station, right? right? Then I fold up the cluster of paper towel that I've just used on the bathroom handle, and I double up on it, Moose, by using it to open up the handle of the actual station, because I don't want to touch that. Why? Because it's been touched by all the people that didn't wash their hands. Brilliance, Joey. Is that I mean, is that not well thought out? Oh, well thought out. I mean, you've covered all the bases. Moose, obviously I'm a man with not just cleanliness, but an awful lot of time on my Well, hands. you do have time, but <laughs> that is those are the great uh, you know jewels of life that you get from Waller once you follow him on Twitter. I couldn't have described it better myself. <laughs> You recognize brilliance, Moose. I do. Joey, I love you, One brother. of the things, thanks. But one yeah, of the things that makes you a great talk show. Yeah, there you go. No doubt, man. I recognize your brilliance. <laughs> I mean, you got to be a little quirky. Thank you. In order to be brilliant, you got to be a little quirky. Yeah. I will end on this note. Yeah. I will admit, <laughs> yeah. to pick up on Anthony's point about sometimes not washing my hands at home on only rare occasions. That there's a dramatic event. If there's a dramatic mm-hmm. event, let's say I'm about to turn on the faucet and suddenly... Curtis Granderson gets a hit with runners in scoring position, something I've never seen in my lifetime (laughs) that I don't want to miss. Yeah. I'll forego it. But other than that, you're scrubbing up. Scrubbing up. Thank you, Moose. You got it, Joey. That's why I love you.